The fate of a proposed rock quarry north of San Diego County may be decided next week by the Riverside Board of Supervisors. Those in favor say the Liberty Quarry would create jobs and provide aggregate needed for construction. Those opposed have environmental concerns. Joining me to talk about the project are Dr. Matt Ron, Director of Field Stations Program for SDSU Overview, and Ken Dixon, a member of the Murrieta School Board, and Ken is a supporter of the quarry. Thank you both for being here. Very welcome. Glad Thank to be here. Ken, I want to begin with you. So tell me a little bit about the project and why you're in favor. Well, this project is a classic uh, case of a balance between economic development and environmental interest. And everybody knows that. Certainly, um, you know, both sides do. Um, I uh, have no affiliation, no connection with Granite uh, engineering, construction, mm -hmm. uh, but I am a member of the community that of uh, Murrieta, so near the, near where this proposed site would be, and uh, been involved with uh, the community in a number of ways, school board for the last 14 years. And um, I have a background that I bring to this that uh, at uh, an early part of my career, I'm a retired Air Force officer, judge advocate, and for 30 years, environmental issues were part of my world, and specifically, I was the dedicated environmental council at March Air Base doing these things. So, so do you see curiosity. this is bringing jobs to your community? And sure. does, will it affect your house? You say your house is close by. Is it going to affect well, your home? Uh, I'm not right next to the quarry, but I live in the community that will be affected, and a school district will be affected by the cost of aggregate, uh, the overall environmental quality of the region, and I think we need to think regionally about this uh, because this is a, a regional asset. Um, royalties potentially left in the ground that would help with our budget Did for you own school any of that land? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Royalties are, would go to the state teachers' retirement uh, when we leave natural resources in the ground. The, those are dedicated to teachers' retirement would help our budget. Uh, that's an important issue, but when I involved myself just to the degree of getting informed like I would with what I used to do, uh, I created and defended EIRs in an earlier, I looked at this, was very satisfied for the safety of it and really was wondering what's the big fight about. So, so I got so involved that way. Matt, what is the big fight about and why is SDSU invite, involved in this fight? Well, San Diego State University is involved because we are the uh, closest neighbor to the project. Uh, San Diego State uh, manages and owns about 4,500 acres in southwest Riverside County that it operates as a research and education laboratory. Uh, for the last half century, we've been able to maintain uh, a strong presence in environmental, natural sciences, physical sciences, uh, research, and so we'd like to be able to maintain uh, that ability into the future. Uh, this project represents a serious impact to the region, and uh, renowned experts from around uh, the country really have uh, reviewed the project and provided uh, very thorough environmental analysis and have concluded that uh, significant unavoidable impacts will occur because of this and it would impact uh, the ability for the university to continue its mission in that area. So when you say what kind of impacts, is it air quality, is it dust, what specifically? Well one of the most unique things about this property is that it represents uh, I would uh, argue one of the most sensitive areas in Southern California. Uh, it has of course the suite of sensitive, endemic, rare and endangered species uh, but also the quarry sits directly in uh, the middle of uh, the last inland to coastal habitat and wildlife linkage remaining in Southern California. Uh, it's adjacent to the last fully protected free-flowing river in Southern California. Uh, and it also uh, represents, uh, from a cultural resource perspective, one of the most sensitive uh, sites to the Luceno people. So can, can, can I add something sure, just, sure. Uh, unavoidable and significant impacts? Has talked about a lot. That that means uh, it's a very minimal, low standard. It means you study it, and this has been studied. It's passed muster through South Coast Air Quality Management District. The air, the water, vibration, light, uh, Fish and Wildlife Service have all passed uh, on this through the county process of the technical people. Uh, it's sensitive. There's the issue of uh, cultural resources. Uh, the logical con extent of, of that concern would basically wipe out all of the development in the, the third of northern San Diego County. Uh, so these are all balancing, or things to be balanced, but they need to be balanced about the needs of the communities and as well as safety. And I'm satisfied myself, as did the staff at the county, that these, and these all these regulators, um, Granite did their job. They spend amazing resources doing this, and it passed that muster. 
play. We haven't got a lot of time. We sure. got to go now. Ken, just tell us what the next hurdle is with this project. Well, the supervisors are the decision makers in this. Um, I don't like to be <laughs> half, uh, pessimistic. My guess is that uh, just the nature of the arguments, you have the facts, you have the law. If you don't have either, you kind of you do what you can. Uh, this will probably be litigated, but we hope not. Uh, it will not be good for the community okay. if it is drawn out any longer than it already has. It's been we'll like seven years of study already. We'll follow the story. Ken Dixon, Dr. Matt Ron, thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you.